Hey, it's Jordan here with FlexiJet. I want to show you guys today how FlexiJet can measure a full height backslash. So I've quickly measured a countertop here just so we've got something to look at. Uh, you can see this represented on the page. We've just measured this basic countertop here as a 2D sheet. What we're going to do now is add this wall on the back. And you might have heard us say this before, we're going to measure in two dimensions, see the results in three dimensions. Beautiful thing with FlexiJet. Don't need any extra tools. Don't need a line laser. Don't need a bunch of targets. Don't need uh, level reference lines. On our software here, I'm going to click over and choose backsplash. We're going to add a vertical layer here. Call this backsplash. We're just going to tell it where this back wall is. The back wall goes from there to there. Just like that, we've already set our plane. So I'm going to do some of this measuring using the Xbox controller. And especially for these more intricate kind of measurements, let's say a full height backsplash, the Xbox controller lets us get exactly over with what we're measuring and helps us to kind of dial into what we're doing. So with the FlexiJet, um, we've got these different speeds. I'm going to bring myself over here and measure right on the underside of this cabinet. The beautiful thing about this is, again, I'm able to walk over, dial this into exactly where we want it to be. I'll come up here and measure on the underside of this cabinet here as well. Coming through the side and bringing myself into this top corner and uh, through the underside here as well. Again, the different speeds make a big difference for our accuracy where we're able to aim it exactly how we want without having to walk back and forth from the machine to the corners. We'll bring ourselves up over here to the right side, down this side here. You'll see the drawing starting to take shape as we work our way through here. And coming up on the underside of the cabinet here, and we'll dial this in to right over here. Now, conveniently on the FlexiJet, those lines that we've just drawn there, let's say we want to auto fill out those corners together. From the FlexiJet screen, a quick tap, lines are all joined together there for us. What I'd like to do now is drop a line down. We're going to have this full height backsplash terminate in line with this top panel here. I'd like to do that by just dropping a vertical line down. Again, with FlexiJet, the beautiful thing about auto-leveling is no need for extra equipment, no need for uh, complicated setups, just to do that, just to drop a vertical line down. And the remote control means I can actually just pick up a target in one hand, bring myself over here, and uh, have the FlexiJet do this. So I'm uh, going to hold the target with my right hand and measure right on the side of my target here. Just like so. Now, I've measured the first point. How do I drop that straight down? Well, with FlexiJet, we can start measuring on, on the FlexiJet and continue on the screen here. So I'm going to just drop a straight line down here, and we are good to go. Continue measuring this through here, working my way down across the bottom. Measure a point on the top surface of the countertop. Bring one down this side as well. And up the left wall, I'm going to switch to our scribe function, or our polyline function, and measure a couple different points as we come up and through here. Catching the, the contour of the wall where we measure through. Awesome. Now this is starting to come together. A couple quick uh, taps on the screen here using my touch screen commands. Now, you'll notice we have a plug there. With FlexiJet, we can customize these symbols for you. And I've got some symbols preset here with an electrical box cutout. So this is a single plug on the vertical here. Let's go ahead and just aim the FlexiJet. This particular cutout, again, these are user customizable. So all I need to do is walk over here, aim the FlexiJet exactly at the center screw of this plug, and uh, take my measurement. You'll see that the symbol shows ex up exactly where we'd like it to be. Of course, our next step with this, with any measurement project, would be the verification step. So pull a tape measure, have a look at what we've measured, make sure that what's on our page is matching what we're seeing in reality here. With the FlexiJet, we have uh, a helper built into that. We can use the FlexiJet to show us these corners. So we can pop over here to FlexiJet and say, FlexiJet, show me this CAD point in the corner. You'll see FlexiJet moves itself over here, um, adjusts and flashes the laser until it's adjusted perfectly to show exactly where that corner is. Let's move ourselves uh, here. We're going to check the, the top corner as well here. Again, same function here. FlexiJet, show me this CAD point. So a quick visual verification, I can see that laser is projecting directly into that corner. So I mentioned at the start of this that we're going to do, uh, we're going to measure this in two dimensions. So what you're seeing in front of here is a two-dimensional drawing ready to go right out through to your saw through to production. 
what we get the benefit of in, with the FlexiJet is we can actually see our two-dimensional parts in three dimensions. So you see on the left hand side of the page here, I've got a backsplash, I've got a countertop, this is my root folder. I'm going to actually get to see both of these parts put together in three dimensions. So no additional work required on the part of the templator, no stitching together, no complicated CAD necessary. Because we measured this together, uh, we get to see it all at once here. So please contact us at 1-844-MY-FLEXI or sales at flexijet.info. We'd love to connect with you, show you how the FlexiJet can be used to make these kinds of measurements, uh, show you how you can maybe save some trips on complicated measurements and installs, and show you how you can use FlexiJet to make your measuring easy and accurate.